What's up guys, I'm Mr. Rose Hoops, back today with another video, and I first wanted to start off by thanking you guys for all of your support in the more recent videos. We're getting subs, we're trying to hit 600 by the end of August, and that's the goal. We're at 537, at least when I'm recording this, so hopefully we can crush that. And again, we have a new installment in what I like to call the X Factor series, where I'm looking at teams either competing in like that little middle range, so like AJ Griffin and the Hawks, or we're covering a team like the Hornets, who are obviously more of a rebuilding, trying to get back to competing team. And today, we are talking about Mark Williams, the rookie big man who gave you nine and seven with a block. And before we get in even a little bit more into it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I wanted to shout out my man, Cam. Uh, he actually has a podcast. He's in our Discord, which go ahead, join that in the description. Um, I was able to start on the podcast it's every Thursday. I wanted to shout him out. He's a Hornets fan. He actually helped point out Mark Williams to me. And Mark Williams was only able to play 43 games this season. I believe this was due to an injury. But the one issue I do have what I noticed is that he only was playing 19 minutes when he was playing. He only started 17 games of the 43 he played, which should not be happening. Mark Williams, to me, again, it's similar to someone like an A.J. Griffin, where I genuinely believe, or even more so like a Jalen Durant. So let's go ahead and talk about the goodness of Mark Williams. So coming up here on this play, what we're going to see is as the man goes to attack, Mark Williams has already got his hands up ready to attack and just instantly is able to grab the board for an easy putback dunk. Mark Williams has been an elite pick and roll guy with LaMelo Ball. And as we see here on the roll, what I like so much about this is that he just immediately on someone as tough to guard as Bam immediately hits a beautiful hook shot. And again, as the man goes to attack LaMelo, there's Mark Williams already goes a roll, man. Which I think, with the installation of Brandon Miller, and I hope they get to keep, I don't remember if they kept Kelly Oubre or not, but the point is, is that with this team getting Brandon Miller and they have LaMelo back, and you're going to have Miles Bridges back, I really think Mark Williams needs to be a pick and roll menace. I think if they really, really, really take advantage of this, that they can go somewhere, this team. I, I don't know if they'll be a playing team quite yet because they're just still really young and their coach doesn't like playing young players, which is a whole other conversation for another day. But what I think is done so well here by Williams is, again, just the, the ability as a role man and even hitting those hook and post shots and knowing his game and not trying to shoot a three when he doesn't need to. It's something that I'd like to see in any player. Someone who understands their role and their limitations, and they don't ever really try to force something that they know is only going to hurt their team in the long term. And now, I want to talk about Mark Williams rebounding and using his size against opponents. So as we're going to see here in this position, Dwight Powell and Bullock go to double Mark Williams from getting a rebound, and still gets it. If he just ended up being able to hit Powell in the foot or on the leg and get it out of the bound, it's another Hornets possession. And I love that he calls for the ball here, by the way, on the cut, and even though he misses, is able to immediately use his freakish athleticism and size to just go ahead and jump back up and tip it back in. And that's what I think is so great about Mark Williams, is that he's going to give this team extra offensive possessions that I don't really think they would have without him. So to get that board and to then immediately go back up, right? You miss. And then you just can grab it again and then draw the foul. That's incredible. And that's what I think Mark Williams provides that a lot of people don't necessarily talk about. He's going to give a team that might struggle offensively multiple chances at it. And I also think a lot of people don't quite understand the value. I think watching these playoffs, the offensive rebounds through the Nuggets series, any of the series that they were playing. When you watch the Heat, when they would play teams like the Knicks, when you would see the Knicks against the Cavs, the biggest thing was getting those extra offensive possessions. And that, to me, is something that they're not necessarily talking about a whole lot. Obviously, it's important. We all know it's important. But it's something that I don't think we've really covered as NBA fans that often. Because we always just want to talk about can you score and can you pass slash play make. But what about the ability to restore possessions to your team or to take possessions away from the other? And that's something I think Mark Williams can be elite at 
as he continues to play the game. And then of course, we had to talk about his defense. So as we're going to see here, his ability to get the jump mark goes up on Andre Drummond and just absolutely swats the thing before it could even get out of his hands. And then yet again here, take a look as the man goes into cut. Mark is already there ready to stop the move and gets the swat again. And I think it's just what's so amazing about Mark Williams. It's his timing and his strength. Look at the strength here. Drummond doesn't really get his way with him and just blocks it anyways. And according to B-Ball Index, when looking at the rim... Mark Williams contests almost 46% of the shots at the rim, which would put him in the 95th percentile in the league, which is elite. And then when you also look at the total rim deterrence, he's making teams go to the rim 1% less than they normally would do, which is in the 70th percentile. But considering that that's only a 43-game sample size, he was already giving you a block in 43 games in less than 20 minutes. I really think if they gave him more time to shine and they really let him finish at the rim and really gave him opportunities at roll man with Miller and let him be that anchor for them on the back line, that this Hornets team is starting to create an identity. And the Hornets were a better defense towards the end of the season last year. And I do believe Mark Williams is a huge part of that. So as always, guys, this is Hamster Knows Hoops. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think Mark Williams is going to be the X Factor for this team? Is there somebody else you think I should have had? I almost did PJ Washington, but he hasn't re-signed. But as always, guys, this is Amsterdam Knows Hoops. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Peace out. Duh.